I'm DJ TLM, and this is Share the Knowledge. Today's podcast is brought to you by Banzoogle. Sticking to the subject of your music library, I have a question, and the question is, what's the best way to organize your music, by genre or BPM? And then there's also a second question, how long should I play a track? Let me start with that first question. I don't choose to use BPM to, to, to organize my, my music because I'll use BPM when I'm playing and I want to search for tracks within that same BPM range. Then in Serato, I'll just click on BPM and have those tracks in order of BPM. But that's not how I select tracks for a certain folder. So first off, I do go by genre. And within that, you have a lot of extra options as well. So within the genre, you might take a certain time frame. So some people actually go by year. You could also go by decade. It all depends on how much music you're going to have in there. But I'll go, I'll go genre and time frame over BPM because BPM is something I can just sort out by clicking. And um, you could also, I don't know how you're playing, but you could also make smart crates in, in Serato and in some other software as well that can uh, sort that out for you. But I'll take genre over BPM when it comes to that. But that's me. I know a lot of DJs that do it in a different way. So uh, again, if you're listening or watching, make sure you let us know in the comments how you sort your music if you use genre or BPM or something totally different. Now, the second question was, how long should I play a track? Listen, there is no way to answer that question. And if you're asking that question, you still have a lot to learn about DJing. There are no rules for how long you should play a track because that all depends on different things. That depends on when you're playing during the night. If you're doing the warm up, a lot of times you can play tracks a lot longer than if you're playing prime time. Prime time, there's more energy. Most likely you're going to play faster. Then again, it also depends on how the crowd is reacting. If I put a track on and they're losing their minds, I may want to leave that track on a little bit longer instead of taking it out too fast. So there is no set time to play a track. So you, I mean, you can ask that, but I can't answer that. That is something you have to learn through experience by playing in front of people playing at different times playing warm-up playing prime time playing being the closer all of that plays a part and it definitely also depends on your crowd i've played in spots where the crowd was only used to djs who were playing tracks from beginning to end something i never do when i was playing and i was playing with faster transitions I shocked that crowd and they were not up to it. They were not feeling it when in normal cases it would enhance the energy. Here was the opposite effect. So I had to find a middle ground. And even during prime time, I left all my tracks at least a verse longer because I could tell I was really losing that crowd by going too fast. So you have to pay attention to stuff like that. And that could be different in a different club, different city, different anywhere. So no one can tell you that you have to play this long or that long. I did a video about this on the channel as well. So check out DJ TLM TV. Uh, I think you can actually just fill in how long should I play a track? I, I don't even remember the title, but I talk about this. I do have a certain guideline for my genre, what I stick to, but I stick to it until a certain degree. Focusing on the crowd is very important. That's going to be my final decision, uh, uh, my final part in the decision making of how long I play a track. Bazooko makes it easy to build a stunning website for your music in minutes. You can choose from hundreds of mobile friendly themes and then customize your design and content in a few clicks with Bazooko's easy visual editor. Now, all the features you need for a professional website are already built in, including tools to sell your music and merch commission free, mailing list tools to grow your fan list and send newsletters, and integration to pull in content from all your online services, including Twitter, Instagram, and SoundCloud. I use Bazooko to create the Share the Knowledge podcast website and that was very easy. Banzoogle plans start at just $8.29 a month and include your own free custom domain name. Now, if you want to try it out for free for 30 days, click on the link in the description box down below and be sure to use the promo code SHARE to get 15% off the first year of your subscription.